what's going on guys it is insanity here and welcome to today's video we're gonna be talking about the empowered scholar boss within the guns love and tentacles dlc of borderlands 3 now just before this video starts please go ahead and leave a like on the video as it does help this channel grow and also please subscribe if you are new as i do borderlands content almost every day on this channel or at least getting back into it i have a playlist on my channel called how to borderlands for all your borderlands needs and whatnot so that link will be down in the description below so the empowered scholar boss is the very first boss within this dlc but if you count vincent as the first boss you know vincent's the first boss but this is the first actual main boss of the story he first appears in the mission the case of wainwright jacobs uh the, he's at the very end of the mission It's a pretty long mission i'm not even gonna lie he is located in the dustbound archives after you have defeated all of the enemies within the area and getting all the echo logs and whatnot and once you defeat him for the very first time make sure you do complete the missions or else you would not be able to farm him and allowing him to respawn but once you have completed this mission you are free to go back and run the route that i'm running right on screen right now in the dustbound archives you just pretty much it's just a straight line straight to his boss fight it's not a long walk at all it's pretty doable make sure you hit this new use station right here and yeah you're ready to go so moving on to the boss fight itself it is a pretty decent boss fight i'm not gonna lie he's a very unique boss to fight uh he he's like a mage he looks like a mage and there are three different stages in this boss fight that you're gonna have to worry about now for stage one i would highly recommend using a fire weapon to absolutely unload as much damage as you can into this boss and then once you do enough damage a shield will go up and you will have to shoot these crystals that are feeding into the shield and healing the boss once you destroy all of these crystals the shield will go down and you will have to unload once again until his shield goes back up now that is the first stage and highly recommend using a fire weapon for the first stage and then moving on to the second he will appear on a platform outside the arena and your job is to destroy the four crystals once again uh, preventing him from healing any further and you will be doing this while floating on these rocks and it's honestly pretty high risk because if you do fall, you do die and you will have to reset the boss fight. But if you just stay on the platforms, destroying all four crystals, nothing will bother you. It just, once you destroy the fourth crystal, he will teleport back to the boss fight arena and then you will be able to, this platform will fall, don't sweat it, you'll be able to get back on the stage. This platform will fall, forming a bridge for you to get back onto the arena. Now at this point, he will have a shield and that is the health that was granted to him in this second stage and you will unload uh, with a shock weapon preferably or could you really use any weapon now once you do enough damage he will put his shield up again and he will enter the final stage of the fight final stage starts off the same exact way as the second stage did where you have to shoot these crystals and this time there are five of them and once you do that it's pretty much just self-explanatory from there this time he will have armor and that is highly effective with corrosion damage so i would highly recommend having a corrosive weapon for this stage of the fight and if you don't just use any weapon just dealing as much damage as possible until you finally defeat the boss that's pretty much the boss fight now moving on to some tips on fighting this boss um i would recommend highly recommend actually using a fire shock and corrosion weapon it, they they are very very useful during this boss fight you're gonna need all three elements if you want to do this at the, the highest effective rate possible i don't know another thing don't let him power up or revive any of the enemies that you have previously killed because if he does it will make life a hell of a lot harder for you to defeat the boss another tip that i would have is not to focus on any of the enemies besides the boss because the boss is pretty much your main focus of this obviously boss fight if you focus on the enemies that he will begin powering up them and reviving them it will just make life a hell of a lot harder for you so i would recommend just dealing as much damage as you can to this boss as you really really can to be honest because once he enters a new stage he will kill all of the enemies on the stage uh, allowing you to just freely walk right into the next phase of the fight with that noted if you are down and he kills everything you are not going to be able to get back up so just keep that in mind that's pretty much it for this boss fight in this farming guide on how to fight him so if you guys did enjoy please leave a like as it does help this channel grow and subscribe if you are new and yeah that's pretty much it been to you guys and i'll see you all later